We're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Not Tommy, not Polly, not anyone regular. The Don. It's gonna be war. I'm ready for him. I hope so. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Thumb. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. True, the Don slipped Carla the bump, not you? Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Less than Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our business. How about people up throughout the place? Forget about that. We stick to our own till this is over. I'll remember who picked the wrong side. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first we have to soften him up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right engine, the rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counts are still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just in normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay, I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with them there, and they'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom.
encountered earlier this year. This is part of our series looking back over the president's plans and results since his inauguration. Our responsibility is to all of the people in this country. This is a great national crusade. A crusade to destroy forced idols, which is an enemy of the human spirit generated by this depression. Our attack upon these enemies must be without stint and without discrimination. No sexual, no political distinctions can be permitted. It must, however, be recognized, and I know you will recognize it, that when an enterprise of this character is extended over more than 3,100 counties throughout the nation, there may be occasional instances of inefficiency, bad management, or misuse of funds. When cases of that kind occur, there will be those, of course, who will try to tell you that the exceptional failure is characteristic of the entire endeavor. It should be remembered that in every big job, there are some imperfections. There are chiselers in every walk of life. There are those in every industry who are guilty of unfair practices. Every profession has its black sheep. But long experience in government has taught me that the exceptional instances of wrongdoing in government are probably less numerous than in almost every other line of endeavor. My friends, the most efficient means of preventing such evils in this work relief program will be the... Attention, folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. You'll also be searched for safety. Thank you for your patience. The finest family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? after the loss of his son. He's gonna clear up this city, you know. And he can throw one hell of a party. He suspects me of something. I have no idea what it could be. One day I'll ask Terrence! You got an invite too? Oh, did you hear there's gonna be fireworks? Which uh, Dottie, and yes, I, um... Uh... Who is this, you know, Terrence? I'm not sure and we've been introduced. Me you this. That's right. uh, we need to turn this around. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. friends. Just not these kind of friends. But I'll tell you what I got. Sailor back there who works on the steamer, his head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. They support the community. Remember all that black hand shit?
know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech. Pop him when he's done. And how do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen them. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits you. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? He sure is shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. You don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Someplace. Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. I'll vote for him. And I do more than vote for the dames he invites to his parties. I do 
know you. You're with Salieri. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. Son of a... I'm making you pay! Jesus. Hey! John, hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, hey, hey. thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased that is organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 